All right, David. First of all, thank you for your time. We appreciate it. Yeah, sure. I guess as a, I'm an LA native, I live in LA. Yeah. What, what made you move to Los Angeles? What brought you there? Uh, air quality. <laughs> Come on, air quality. Air quality in the Salt Lake City is quite horrible, so I was uh, upgrading in air quality. Also, the uh, compassion of the drivers there towards cyclists is, uh, is actually quite decent. Uh, I think they have a uh, value for uh, human life there. I rarely get into incidents. So what? So you? So speaking of uh, riding your bike in LA, so you, you're riding your uh, Pacific Coast Highway. Yeah. Uh, how, how, how does that treat you? How's that road for you? It's a, it's a nice road. It doesn't take too long to get to those uh, Santa Monica Mountains, which are some of the most beautiful riding in the entire world, I'd say. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, I got robbed in Utah, so it's just, uh, I said, hey, it's time to go somewhere where uh, crime isn't so rampant. Well, I'm glad you uh, found a home in Los Angeles, because, um, me too. You know, I haven't had such, <laughs> haven't had such luck. Um, on a more ser more serious note, um, what's on your iPod? I, I actually went through the whole thing last night. Uh, it's not as much as it used to be. I don't, I don't know where all my music went. Obviously, the thieves, they stole some of my hard drives, and uh, I guess I've yet to replace a lot of the things that I had. But, uh, you know, just uh, it's quite a mix of classic rock, rap, uh, country. Older, you know, decent country from the the original uh, outlaws. None of that new like pop country crap or stuff. So um, you uh, have been with uh, Garmin now for for a couple of years now, and had some pretty good success with 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 the team. Mm -hmm. Um, what is your a race this year? What's your yeah, major I mean, goal? The, the big goal well, is California, so I made it here. I uh, want to do very well, so I uh, just need to get out there and uh, suffer, make it happen. Okay. Um, I'm very curious, just very curious to know. You know, it's as a cyclist, you can come back year after year, you can come back with one motivation, yeah. two, two with fitness. Pretty much, you gotta keep improving every every year. Yeah, no, no. How do you do that? Yeah, that's that, that's my question. How do you do it, <laughs> or do you do it? Yeah, I mean, there's always little things you can do here and there, but uh, it's pretty difficult to see like very significant improvements year after year. They're really, if they're happening, they're small. You probably barely notice. If you weren't a professional cyclist, what do you think you'd be? Yeah, but uh, never made that plan. Comedian? Stand up? Yeah, I don't know about that. I <laughs> think, uh, I don't know if people would laugh at me just for me. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Yeah. So what would you, what would you say is the most significant a um, significant memory you have as a professional cyclist. What stands out the most for you, good or bad? Yeah, one of my early, early races when I was a Cat 3 uh, in Super Week, it was just Whitefish Bay Criterium. It was just something I didn't think I had a chance in hell of winning, like a lot of big field. And uh, I got, yeah, I won, and I was uh, just overwhelmed with the feeling of wow I did it type of feeling. Yeah, that was a good one. What's your favorite ride? Favorite ride? Yeah, training ride. Yeah, anything. I mean, I, I prefer the, the dirt these days. I really like the mountain biking. I'm waiting on a couple new frames right now, actually. You ever go up Sullivan, the West Ridge, Sullivan? Yeah, yeah, I've been on all those fire roads. Cool. Where else? Yeah, every now and then, I mean, the mountain biking in Utah is a little better than uh, Los Angeles. But, uh, yeah, 
So you're gonna be riding up the big, the big, big bear climb. Yeah. On your mountain bike, it actually you can take the gondola, uh, the chairlift up, and take your mountain bike down. Is that nice? Yeah, it's yeah. pretty cool. Huh. Yeah, I'll try that. It's fun, so do you think the uh, big bear stage is gonna be the deciding stage, or think it'll fall back to the time trial on? Uh, there's a few Saturday. stages up here with the, the short little climbs where differences could be made. So. It's the kind of race where uh, you got to be ready to play every day. And what do you think is going to be your, your decisive stage? Which one, which one are you, you marking? Yeah, I mean, obviously the time trial for me. I'd like it to come down to that. And how is, uh, how's your business doing? How is, uh, it's going well. So uh, we got a couple new products out, for one for the women. We have a shaving cream, they ball. Got another thing called In Heat coming out with some other stuff, but uh, it's all going well. Except the uh, someone keeps hacking our website, which has kind of been a pain. But I think they got the, some new security measures in place. So, um, are all these uh, impressive product names coming from you? You're the, you're the, you're the brains behind uh, D's Nuts and D's Blitz, and yeah, I have a I have a part in it. Yeah. So the uh, names are quite um, original, and certainly they're hard hard to um, forget. Yeah, that's, and that's you know that's business business one hundred and one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Any final words? Uh, <laughs> not really. I guess. Uh, take take care, everybody.